Hey, it's Rob from Dattle Family Farms. I had a uh, friend borrow uh, or one of my saws. It's an MS-261. And when I got it back, the uh, throttle trigger is sticking. So I'm going to fix that. Um, so what's happening with the saw is when I compress the trigger, you can see the trigger does not reset that little spring. And there can be two problems with it. There can be a the throttle where it goes into the carburetor up here can be sticking or it can be sticking in this pin and so um what's going on is that pin right there i think they got some rust or dirt or dust or something in there so i'm going to disassemble this trigger clean that up and then get it working again so you can see that little white bar there that's part of the bottom of this housing and there are two tabs one there one there they don't show up real well on the video but if you take it and kind of wiggle it and work those tabs off that bar see how they're not on there now it makes it offers a little bit of separation there be real careful when you're doing this because that spring that holds that and that whole assembly, the safety assembly can come out. Make sure you don't break your tabs. This is a newer machine, um, so I don't have to worry about it. But this is the trigger assembly. Now that's the safety part on top that you decompress before you can pull the trigger. That can come off. awkward trying to do this with one hand while videoing it. And that's it popping off. Just be careful. That's why I'm doing it on a gravel road and on a truck bed so that I can easily find my parts. Uh, that spring right there uh, just keeps it up if you let go of it. So now I'll take the pin. That's just a pin. You can take a little hammer uh, or a little mallet. Be very, very careful. But you can take a little screwdriver or knockout punch or something. In the field, all I have is this little screwdriver. And uh, push and tap it with that mallet right there. And then uh, push it out. So I knocked off that pin and you can see all the way through. And you can see the little rust and stuff on that pin. Um, a piece of sandpaper will help clean that up. Uh, a wire brush. If you have a wire brush on a grinding wheel uh, in a shop, that'll work. Uh, out here in the field, I think all I've got maybe right now is a drill and a wire brush to go on it, which is going to be is liable to stick my fingers but uh, let me see how i can clean that up and then i'll get back to you so i got that side smoothed off and polished again you still see a little bit of the rust there but i didn't have my drill but i used my impact wrench just to slightly turn and then i held the end of that bar with this actually wire strippers but with the pliers on this wire strippers and uh, that's how I polished it off. So now I'm going to put it back together and get to work. So I just put it back in and I'm testing it. And that releases now. I need to get in with a small round wire brush. Pull that pin out and clean just a little bit inside the hole where that pin sits. Um, again, this gets it working today and it's safe. Um, I used it a few moments ago to cut a tree and just pulled this down when it got stuck and it it, it worked but it was wildly unsafe um, and as much as I'll be using the saw today uh, it's worth taking this time to fix it but anyway this is how you can fix that trigger assembly in the field especially if uh, this is how you can fix that trigger assembly in the field um, especially if you don't have an ideal setup 
uh, to clean that pin. So when you assemble this, make sure the notches go in there. Make sure that the spring is inside that little notch on the side of this safety trigger. And then put your cover on.